Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to fix some of the auto rigging problems that you get in MetaHuman Creator. Malik Galani reached out to me with his great Kong model that he has here. Malik used my workflow from my Meta Gorilla walkthrough video, but the auto rigging from the Creator wasn't doing a great job at placing all the joints in the right place, and this is the result he was getting. As you can see, it's not ideal. It's not doing a great job. The process is going to involve exporting out of Unreal into Maya using two plugins, the MetaHuman for Maya plugin and the 2DNAX Helix Edit plugin, then exporting and back into Unreal. They have this excellent plugin called Helix Edit, which at the moment is free for a personal or academic license. They do accept donations, so please, if you do find their plugin as awesome and amazing as I found it, then please feel free to uh, donate. They also have a great Discord where uh, they're really hands-on with troubleshooting um, any issues that you have. So definitely give them a look. I also want to shout out John CG and his channel. He's got some awesome MetaHuman uh, custom character information on there, which is also how I found the 2D NAC Helix Edit plugin. In Unreal, starting from the MetaHuman character creator, I'm in the Assembly tab. I select DC, DCC export uh, for my assembly select my output folder and then I hit assemble. Now we're in Maya. I'm going to open the MetaHuman plugin tab, select the character assembler. This is my folder where I've exported Malik's Kong model and here it is and I hit that guy. So here he is all imported and assembled. And if I turn the joints on, you will see the issue. Joints on here. You can see uh, the elbows. See this guy here? That's the lower arm. That's the elbow. And you can see the auto joint placement from the MetaHuman Creator has not done a great job at figuring that out. And it is one of the limitations from the MetaHuman Creator. We don't have any ability to do any joint placement specifically. I'm going to delete all the joints. I don't want them. I'm going to get the body mesh, the head zero, or the LOD zero head mesh. Get all that stuff. I am deleting everything else. Now that I have all these pieces, I go to the 2D NAX menu, which is the Helix Edit plugin, Character Editor. From here, I'm going to select my project, which is my Meta Gorilla Test, and Malik Kong as my character. I've already set this up, so if you were to set this up um, by yourself, you would type in your project name, and it would be Meta Gorilla Test, and a character name. I'm going to call this guy Kong. I'm going to go for blend shape only, because I'm only interested in cinematics and um, animation, rather than if you are making a game character, you would hit blend shape with joints. So then I go setup. There you go. It has been successfully created because then I go to character prepare. Still need to select my correct project. And here it gives you instructions. We need to place all of these meshes into this folder and um, give them the correct name for the next piece to actually work. Luckily for us, they also ha have a handy import export tool. So if I paste in the 
directory where I want all those meshes to be, which it tells you here. And then if I select all these guys and hit export, it's going to expect, export all the meshes individually with the correct name to the right folder. Now that all my meshes have exported to the right spot, I've started a new scene. I still have the Helix Edit open. I'm in the Character Prepare tab in my Meta Gorilla Test project with my with Malix Kong character selected. Hit the body prepare, choose male as my DNA. Let it do its thing. It's going to bring the body in and do some automatic joint placement, which is generally pretty good. Which is the thing we're trying to correct that the MetaHuman creator isn't so great at. And here it is. It's brought the body in. It has done some auto placement of the joints. And look at that. Or it's fixed our elbow. Skinning works. All automatically. We could do this manually and export the skin from a um, from an existing metahuman and then apply the skin to the UVs. Um, but that is an extra manual step, whereas this is doing all that work for us automatically. I'm going to hit save on the body. Save that guy. Hit mail. Go into editing mode, and editing mode will attach the head. So here we have the head with the rig and all the uh, LODs, but we don't really want all of them. That's okay. It does make them. Prepare the character. And now that that's prepped, hit save into the character editing tab. Here is our guy, all fully functional, and from here we can export the character. I'm just going to hit prepare for export, leave all these unchecked. And what it will do is it will create an FBX for the body and the body skeleton and an FBX for the head lod uh, and a FBX skeleton. It also creates a DNA file that you can import into Unreal. The only gotcha there is that at the moment is that Helix Edit only supports Unreal 5.5 but there is a way to convert the DNA file to 5.6 and I'll show you that in a second. Export character. If we go to our file, <coughs> our folder, our export folder, you can see here in our Kong export folder there is a Maya file, a body file, and this is our body lod FBX and our head lod FBX. And there is also a DNA file here, that guy, which we will convert to a 5.6 DNA file. Thanks, Helix Edit. We've finished there. Heli there's so many more aspects to Helix Edit. There's a retopology tab, and even in the character editing tab, you can fix all the blend shapes and make them how you want them to be and push it back out to your uh, to your DNA file. Our DNA file, if we go back to the MetaHuman plugin, go to Expression Editor, and then there in the Tools section, Upgrade MetaHuman DNA. 
So here you can see it says Unreal Engine 5.5 compatible DNA. So I'll select my Kong DNA file that we just created, kick it out. I'll just say Kong 5.6 dash hit save and upgrade. and done. From here I'm going to go back into Unreal and recompile the MetaHuman in the MetaHuman Creator with all those things that we just made. Back in Unreal and I'm going to import the body LOD 0, the head LOD 0 and I'm going to import the DNA file. I'm just going to put them all in this scale mesh folder now they're all imported. It also imported all these uh, materials that we don't need, but that's okay. We're going to open up our MetaHuman character again. We're going to remove the rig and conform it to the scale meshes that we just made with the Helix Edit plugin. So go back to body, hit conform from template. It does say import DNA, but what I've found works best is if we import the scale mesh into the body and the scale mesh into the head then if you want to add some groom uh, pieces uh, you do that then and adjust the materials then we'll go back to the head and import from DNA and it'll build the whole rig for us. So it's important once we have our body and we put that into the mesh asset we want to make sure where our body fit options are from mesh and skeleton. Hit import. Don't worry about the head, we're doing that next. Now you can either use the head LOD 0 that we imported with our body or we can use the upgraded DNA. And you'll see that our DNA file that we exported from Maya already has the eyes and the teeth, so we'll keep that ticked. Un uh, alignment options are none, adapt neck is off. Conform. So he should look the same. and beautiful. So we're going to go back to the head, add our add build from DNA and it'll put the whole rig together. So here we're going to navigate to our DNA file which is our Kong 5.6 import whole rig which is basically the whole face setup and all the blend shapes. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to put our body ROM on, which is there. And as you can see, it's a huge improvement from, uh, from what we had initially. Thanks everyone, I hope that helps. Keep sending me your questions and your queries, and I love seeing all the progress people are making. Keep sending it on. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.